Hey guys, it's welcome back into one more skin. I hope you are doing good on a sensational Sunday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and blessings to you and love and light. And thank you for coming to see what I'm about. If you can be so kind, and please like and subscribe, even hit the notification button. So you know where I'm about to hit my next video when it's about to come out. And if you be so kind, if you resonate and enjoy my video, please give me a thumbs up and even drop a comment and feel free. And if you're a returning sub, what up fam? Thank you for the support, love and light and many blessings to you as always on both you and my returning subs. And many blessings and love and light and namaste to you. And thanks for the support again as always. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Thank you. It's just thank you. Now, yesterday I had talked to my friend Anthony. And I was just like, you know, I feel bad because I kept on snatching up these pictures. <laughs> and I can't remember. I think I, like I said yesterday, I think I went ahead and asked him prior a few months ago when we first met. Well, we didn't first meet, but, you know, we hit each other up on Facebook. And I was just like, you know, when he found out who whose daughter I was, he was like, oh, my gosh. And so, ever since then, I've really loved his pictures. So, I used to snatch them up and put them on my page. And a lot of people are like, girl, where do you get these pictures from? They're so beautiful. So, thank you once again, Anthony. But the family from his page and him and I think her, her name is Mari. Um, and the other admits, thank you so much. You guys really make me feel welcome. Even though I have not physically met you guys, you guys feel like family. And it brought, like, tears to my eyes. People were like, she's so soft-spoken. She's so sweet. And I love the things that she's talking about. So, thank you, guys. You really touched the bottom of my heart. And you guys really make me feel welcome. So, I mean, if I, if I get emotional, y'all... Y'all make me feel like you really, really make me feel good. You really, really make me feel good. And it's just like the comments that I get and the support I get, it just makes me feel so good. Because when a person has been through so much and they really don't have family like that, because I have family that's here and I, they're not even family no more. To me, they're just like people I, I just had a memory with before I found pain. So it's just like, it was just a lesson learned. But it's just when you drop other things like that the things you're willing to pick up and that god has blessed you with is a thousand people that that resonate with me when it comes to my dad and that is a really good healing process just to know people love him as much as you do and there's some things that people don't understand and hopefully later on down the line when this ever comes out you will find out bits and pieces of what's going on that i wasn't able to tell you guys so, from the bottom of my heart, I would love to tell you guys, thank you, and much love, and many blessings to you. And today I'm listening to Michael Jackson, you know, it, <laughs> butterflies, so every time I listen to Michael Jackson, I think about my dad, and I start busting out laughing, because even though people, it is known for people to always say that they had rivals or whatever, and I really don't know what went on with that. But when I remember when I was talking to him when I was five, I, was, I think I was talking to uh, this guy named Lenny Bazin over when we went to the meet and greet to meet Maite and uh, Brown Marks and all them. And it was so funny because me and him got into a conversation about it. He was like, how you going to wear a Michael Jackson shirt up in here? You up in here with Prince's ex-wife. I said, because I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> like he said, I can make the rules and break them if I wanted to. I just did it. But I said, it was just a little low-key joke for me and my dad because it was just like... The first time when we talked, he was like, so, you know, he was trying to figure out things to talk about because he didn't want to get off the phone. And he, you know, he was young at the time. So he was just like really nervous and excited. And um, I think it was like around 23 or something. And that memory is it, just like I would keep keep that in my head because it's just like I love that. That was like the first true time we actually talked for like it seemed like hours. And I did not want to get off the phone. We had to go back on stage. So he couldn't say so it was just like a good thing and he was just like so um who's your favorite musician and i guess he's the first thing i'm gonna come out and say he thought i was gonna say him and i was like michael jackson <laughs> i thought i want that to be my boyfriend he was like wait a minute hold up no 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 he's too old he is way too old you know and it was just really funny 
and he was just like, is there anybody else? And I went off naming Stevie Wonder, Smokey Robinson, Shaka Khan. And he was like, hey, that's my girl right there. You know, that's my friend. And I didn't know that they were really close because I used to dress up like Shaka Khan when I was little. And I used to tell my mom, she was like, who are you? And I had these big wigs on. And she was just like, who are you, who are you trying to be? I was like, I'm Auntie Shaka, mama. I'm Auntie Shaka. And he, my mom was looking at me like, I, don't, I guess she knew that they were really good friends, and I always used to call her Auntie Shaka, and I didn't even know her, but I just felt like she was like my aunt, and um, then I finally said to him, and he was just like, you know, my mom, he told me, make sure you tell Uncle Roger that you love Prince, and you want to meet him one day, you know, because she was waiting until my dad walked out the room and said, hopefully, maybe you can go ahead and see if he can give us some concert tickets, because I really want to see him, and then when I asked him, I said, well, can I get some concert tickets? Mom wants to know if we can get some concert tickets. He was like, no, <laughs> you cannot go to any of his concerts. You're a little bit too young for that. Now I see what he was talking about because it's like I wanted to gouge my eyes out on certain things that I saw. So it was just like, oh, now I see why I couldn't go. <laughs> so uh, there would have been a lot of questions to be asked. But, you know, I just appreciate all the things that I was able to see and hear. So um, I'm not going to hold you guys up today. And this was like a quick shout out to all the new uh, subscribers and stuff like that that came to see what I'm about. And I really appreciate it. And I hope you come back again and drop a comment or whatever you feel free to do. And I will talk to you later. Much love, peace, and be wild. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Peace. You know, I act a little goofy sometimes too. It's just a good day. And I feel my blood flies. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Peace and be wild. Bye.